We are going back to the world. He raised his hand, and of the desolate earth, he traced in his face the sign of the dawn.
spontaneous appearance of lasers. <laughs> and mazes. <laughs> and the real world relevance of the kind of reasoning that usually appears on job interviews. <laughs> Attempts to explain these bizarre events using standard scientific theories have failed. There is a growing consensus that the previously neglected field of heuristic unphysics may afford the only reasonable theoretical framework. As I will show in this hour long talk, <laughs> non computation techniques can be used to prove that these phenomena are easily explained. My goal in this project is to show that there are in fact no puzzles at all. <laughs> this is merely a matter of better, more objective decades. <laughs> in this way, we can live happily in a world free from puzzles. <laughs> I argue that the key to understanding and resolve the apparent, resolving the apparent paradoxes caused by these phenomena can be found in a thorough analysis of the atmosphere. <laughs> but what is the atmosphere? I first encountered the atmosphere around 10 years ago when working on a project codenamed French Armada. <laughs> My research then was in the field of applied chrono klepto enigmatic analysis. In fact, my group presented at that very conference. <laughs> However, our results were inconclusive at that time. Then, it was not possible to resolve the enigmas we experienced. <laughs> what my current studies have revealed is that those so-called puzzles were in fact mere shadows of their true selves. <laughs> <laughs> However, <laughs> what we must do is consult a higher authority. Yeah. I am going to share with you today how you too can go through the rest of the month and indeed the rest of your lives in a happier, puzzle free existence. Well, that doesn't sound like very much fun. Oh, was that the question uh, I heard? No. No. Okay, I'll continue. <laughs> uh, what the atmospheric analysis shows is that the way that those problems that were formulated by the French Armada project ten years ago, they're far too simplistic. The key to success can be found in Rand's twin axioms. The first, existence, is identity. Second, consciousness is identification. And so the common belief, popular a mere decade ago, was that we needed to use complicated logic to solve clues and piece a solution together. However, if consciousness is identification, then the solution is clear. <laughs> Remain conscious longer. <laughs> Let's see how an application of this principle can lead to the immediate resolution of a seemingly intractable problem. This is an example of the sort of problem encountered in the French Armada project ten years ago. <clears throat> now, you may think this is gibberish. However, by a judicious application of more consciousness, <laughs> the answer becomes clear. The word lie has a synonym, fin. This fin clearly includes the Fibonacci sequence. <laughs> From here, the implication is clear. You shift each letter in the string by an amount corresponding to the Fibonacci sequence. <laughs> Modulo 
1226. <laughs> <laughs> and this so-called enigma reveals itself as nothing more than <laughs>
that direction. <laughs> you, you might find a third. What's in it for me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 